Hello everyone, I am Shubhrakanti Kaviraj. I work for PKI India team of CDAC Bangalore. Today I shall be demonstrating the process of encryption and decryption using C# -sharp language in Windows platform. We will be using Bouncy Castle API for C# -sharp as a cryptographic library for all cryptographic operation involved in encryption and decryption process. For writing the c -sharp program, we will be using Visual Studio 2015 as the IDE. In one of my previous videos, I have already demonstrated how to download Bouncy Castle API for c -sharp and how to use that library with your project. So I will directly go to the code where I will demonstrate how to write your program for encryption and decryption. Here is my program. If you click on reference, you can see that Bouncy Castle API has been added to your project. And here are some of the namespaces that I have imported for using the functions for encryption and decryption. Now I shall go through the code for your understanding. First step is to generate the RSA key pair. For RSA key pair generation, I have instantiated RSA key pair generator class. Then I have initialized that object with some random value and with the RSA key size. You can change the size of the key depending upon your usage by changing this of parameter that is 2048. If you want your key size to be 1024 bit, you can type here 1024 bit. Finally, I am calling generate key pair for generation of the asymmetric RSA key pairs. Once the RSA key pairs are generated, you can extract the uh, public key and private key using RSA key parameters. To print the public key in PEM format, I am using PEM writer initialized with text writer object. The same lines of code can be used for printing of the private key by replacing appropriate parameters. For encryption process, I am calling the RSA engine. Next, I am initializing the object created with some values. First value is a boolean value that is it will be true for encryption and if you write false it will do a decryption process. And the next parameter is the key that you want for encryption. Here I am using public key for encryption. Next I want to generate the ciphertext. For that I will be using process block and I will be passing the source data on which you want to perform the encryption process. Next I am trying to print the ciphertext using encoding.utf8 getString function and I am passing the ciphertext that is generated. For decryption process I am generating again an object for RSA engine. Next I will initialize that object with some parameter. Now here is the difference between encryption and decryption process. For encryption process I had initialized that object with true meaning I want encryption but for decryption process I have given false. Once I give false it will do a decryption of the generated ciphertext. And the next parameter with which key you want to perform the decryption. In my encryption process I had done encryption with public key. So for decryption process I will use the private key for decryption. Once you have initialized the object you call process block to perform decryption on the ciphertext. Once you decrypt you can print the ciphertext on the console using this lines of code. Now that you have completed writing your code, build your solution to check any error is there in your program or not. Build your solution. It is showing build succeeded means there is no error in your program. After that run your program. So first it is asking me to enter any text that you want to encrypt.
next it is showing that it is generating the key pairs you can see the public key and the encrypted text next it is showing do you want to decrypt if you want to decrypt press yes and any other key for no once i press y it is getting decrypted and it is showing me the decrypted text so this was a simple example of how to do encryption and decryption process thank you from pki india team bangalore